No mana. I have Chigi. Boom. Everyone gets shielded. Kill him. Oh my god. And that is a plus 27 black rook hold. Oh my god. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a plus 27 black rook hold. These are my talents for this dungeon. Nothing changes as usual. Just focusing on doing damage while healing. My damage breakdown comes down to Spinning Crane Kick, Rising Sun Kick, and Blackout Kick as my main damage sources. And my healing is Chica Coon from the last boss, but it's mostly Ancient Teachings, Custom Mist, and Enveloping Mist. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you
All right, so we have. Sorry, I've been. I was uh, in. Oh, nice magic pop here. That was in voice with uh, the other other two. I'm just gonna revive you. I don't know how we still taking damage. Uh, with other boys. So this is a 27 black or gold. This is a pretty straightforward dungeon. Um, I'll try to talk through the mechanics as I go. This is actually the highest a key I have ever attempted. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, the first boss was going smooth, but we let one of the ads get through. So we used defensives and I don't think my, I think the demon hunter didn't, um, I didn't press defensive, which is a little unfortunate. So that's okay. Let's get a cocoon here. Let my pally. Oh, Hopefully we're back. Hopefully we didn't lose too much time to that. Sweeping everything. Do you damage this thing? Dodge the circle? Dodge the frontal? We damage here? Dodge the swirl? Good. The spell? Good. This guy's shooting. He's targeting my evoker. Rage now. Dampen harm. Nice. Do damage. Do damage here. Alright, we kinda got a oh, we got a pretty big big pool here. I'll put a skull on the companion. Cause I think the cat is like the scariest part of this, like straight up. The cat the cat is actually the scariest part of this pool. It sucks. Nice stun there. Knife party. Sweep everything. GG here as well. Really hoping we kill this thing fast. Vote missed here. Oh my lord, that's why we can that's why we're scared of the cat the companion. Thank you for the shield. Nice. Good. Knife party is going to suck. Probably needs a line. Revival here. Manatee here. Nice. Good. I guess not bad so far. Outside of uh, that one death, it's not awful. Manatee here, we're chain pulling to the next one. Um, it's kind of just like, oh, watch out for the frontal. It's kind of like a combination of somehow, did I get hit by that frontal? I guess I just GG here and just win. Good. Spell that. On use here. Should be good. I'll heal. Heal it. Dodge the swirl. Nice. Good, job. Good work. Actually, actually insane job. So have cooldowns too. There's my dragon. Let me shade him's gift to you. Nice. Good lining on the arrow uh, barrage. Send the statue. Do healing. Good. LOSing right now for the next pull a little bit. And LOS any of the damage. Spell. Nice. Do damage. Good. Arrow barrage. Do healing. Do healing. Good. Do damage here. Cool. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I can taunt this too. Manatee here. We should have another pull coming here. Put my port down. GG here. Spell that. Nice. Good dispels. Sweep everything. Knife party, arrow barrage, wrap that. Good. Nice. Good. Manatee. By the way, expel harm is like one of the best spells you can press. I swear, expel harm is like such a good offensive that you should just get used to pressing it off cool. I, I press it off cooldown. Like straight up knife party is really soon too. 
Manatee here. We want to stay close to this pillar for the knife party uh, because it does a ton of damage. And I'm really hoping people see it. The ult dodge the frontal. Okay, envelop mist here. Yeah, and sorry, sorry, but I did not. I literally, I pressed record and then I must have hit space bar or something because it stopped recording at the start here. But hope everyone's having a great day. And hopefully we time this. It'd be really nice if we time this key. Um, I sound serious because, like, I really want to time at 27. So I guess we'll see. Um, but so far we're doing pretty good. These guys don't have to. I think there's a frontal here. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing is I really want to get a drink. Yeah, frontal here. I really want to get a drink before this next boss because this boss actually does uh, kind of kind of hurt. So, fine here. Let's dispel this guy. Dispel it. And it's uh, fortified, raging, afflicted. So, yeah. We should be okay for uh, for timing this. It's just how fast can we do it on your trinket here. And I normally take this part, this part of the dungeon, I, I, I play it super safe. Like, I really do. Um, I just don't want to, can I mine that? Yes. Or just, this was our uh, arrow barrage, so I just uh, made sure to Ella go behind the mob. Nice, good. Um, I think I actually might roll up here and Shadow Melt drink. Oh, I don't have Shadow Melt. I definitely would like to get a quick sip here. Okay. All right. All right, should be good. Demon Hunter, or not Demon Hunter, the Evoker should be getting all the mechanics here too. Um, I'm at 50, 60% mana should be good. That's uh, Breath of Eons from the Evoker. So we do want to uh, start doing some damage just because um, it just outputs more damage. And that's pretty much what these dungeons are all about. How much damage can you do? Spell, good. While also doing the mechanics. As I place that, I think that fire was okay, actually. Nice, really good, really good cauterize there. Or, is that cauterizing flame? I think that's cauterizing flame. We're actually doing pretty good damage too. So I'm kind of happy. Happy about that. Uh, you want to kick these... This mob right here, you want to kick it. You can also stun it, I'm pretty sure. Um, spell one. Oh, good good, good job from the evoke. I'm just going to unuse trinket him. I've been using the big shield trinket from, I think it was Everbloom. Um, we're going to sweep the arcane mage because it just makes sense to do so. Why not? Um, I think this, uh, this demon hunter is going to get a lot of mechanics. So I'm just going to throw an envelopment on him and then just start... Keep doing damage. Extend that those hots with our rising sun kicks. Dispel. I can heal as well. I always like pr like start like pre healing just you know in case you know someone doesn't get it, which is fine. Like it happens. Like it's not. I don't think it's a healer only affix, but you know I, I do. I'm gonna throw a mist on the demon hunter here. He's gonna get the bleed from the brutal glaive. But we have Chiji up, so we should be okay. Yeah, we should be okay. Shaylin's gift here. Boom. Nice blur for my Demon Hunter. Brutal Glaive on the uh, Evoker. Yeah, the Brutal Glaive and the Fell Flame, I think, when the go uh, the phases, I think that's a that's a ranged-only mechanic, and I don't think Monk's Count is a ranged in a lot of mechanics for a lot of mechanics, so we're going to just do this. Brutal Glaive again on Use Trinket. It also gives them versatility, so... Oh, nice bop there from the... Uh, from the Pally. We do love to see that. Oh, we're going to bring this over here. I'm going to defuse Magic, because it, it's... Magic damage, I'm pretty sure. So uh, that's pretty good. Brutal Glaive again. We have Chiji really soon. Nice dispels. Thank you. I love when people dispel. I appreciate it. And we're just cranking right now. Good work. Yeah, if we can get this down soonish, I feel like we should be making like pretty good time. I think the last boss doesn't even take that long either. Like, I think the last boss is like, oh, like a three minute fight, if that. You know, with the damage that we have, and if no one dies. So, um, we just got to keep this next part clean, which I think we've already done the hardest parts of the dungeon. And we should be doing good. Again, we're just spot healing the Brutal Glaive target. Um, we probably just kill here. I don't know if we take... I don't think this boss takes reduced damage, right? I'm pretty sure. Nice. Good. Nice. That was, that was really good. Um, I think overall we're doing pretty solid. I don't know if they're going to skip the... Um, 
the fell reaver the fell reavers the big fell guard guys um i've seen some of his skips for the first two but let's see throwing development on the tank here and uh manatee oh this is gonna be a big pull this is this is gonna be a big pull cocoon here that's fine ball here gg and we're gonna spin here name of the game is to not let them get these potions off like at all i'm gonna kick that big pull nice dispel there on use as well on the tank and i'm probably gonna leg sweep first leg sweep everything good knock from the evoker i can also rot the next ones careful though Rob the next ones. Good. And then this is where we kind of want to be careful because if they do get the potions off, uh, they're gonna they're gonna start turning into Beyblades and they're gonna start spinning, and uh, it's not gonna look good for us. Yep. Like that. Nice blur. The spell. Um, are we pulling more? Oh my lord! I would probably just at this rate I would probably just bubble. This is a long freaking pull. Yep. There's the Beyblade. Want to be careful with that. Okay, and kept that. Oh my lord. Whew. Yeah, this pull it, it's a little it's it's a little dangerous. It's a little dangerous if we don't have enough stops. We got that's a big boy right there. Don't miss myself. Could die. Yeah. The Beyblade. At least we spawn right here, but yeah, we just didn't have enough stops for uh the spins. But I think it's it's not a far run back, so we should be okay. I hope. Yeah. And they're kind of getting out of hand a little bit. Look at them. Oh. Can't in-cap them because they enraged. Oh. I think we're okay. Nice. Big healing. Good. Hopefully we kill these because they're still enraged. And they're still going to spin. <laughs> we cannot CC them. At all. So... On use cocoon, yeah. I don't know. Maybe our tank doesn't realize that. Maybe there's just a, it's just a tight timer. So I'm gonna just staff this one. Todd, don't miss myself. Okay, not making it easy, but that's okay. Sweep everything before they get enraged. Maybe it's a little bit easier to rob them too. Spell this. Minity here. Nice. Are we invisiting past first two here? All right, let me see. I just want to make sure if they're invisiting or not. No? Okay, well. Okay, that saves so much time. All right, time to get past these rocks. <laughs> oh, they, these are always these ones always try to juke you out. Boom, boom, boom. Nice, boom. Nice. We should have it now. Good. All right, I'm gonna drink. We're not visiting, so we're just gonna march on. I guess I don't know. Throw Thunder Focus the envelope missed out here on the tank. And uh, you just want to kick. That's pretty much this part of the dungeon. Is you just want to kick the... Uh, I'll kick fast so that people don't spam, you know, miss kicks. So I'll kick that. But yeah, this part isn't too bad either. This part is like pretty straightforward. Nothing nothing too insane. Just focus one. Do damage. Weave in your rising sun kicks, blackout kicks. Nice kick on that one. And... Hopefully we can smell this afflicted. Nice. Kick that one. Good. I think we just probably chain pull into the next one too. If I know if it seems like that's what this tank does, yeah. Chain pull to the next one. Oh. As long as we don't lose anybody. Manatee here. I'll start kicking the old one. 
Nice to spell on that. Nice kill on that. All right, good. Manatee. GG here. Kick that one. <sighs> nice. Should be okay. Oh my god, my computer's like... <laughs> it's like, cannot handle it. I don't know if one of them got it off. No, they didn't. Okay, good. Envelope missed here. Manatee here. I've seen some tanks pull this into the next boss. Or pull into this boss. You know, I don't you know. I don't know about that, but... I think we need to calm down there. Good. I got no mana as well. Which is a little unfortunate. So I just need like a quick sip before this next boss. And we should be good to kill it. Okay. Kick that. Alright, what do we have? We have, what, 11 minutes? I feel like that's enough time. 8 minutes to kill this and all the next trash. Alright, we're going straight into it. No drinks allowed. No drinks allowed for us. <laughs> GG here. Um, there's a few mechanics. The gaze, you just want to make sure you stand between the boss and whoever's targeted if they have one stack. And then the earth shaking stomp, it's just a big AoE damage. Just Shadow's Gifted is normally the best answer for it that I found. Nothing too crazy. Oh, do we lust already too? I don't even know when we lusted. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, we got some big damage here. You kind of just want to pump. I'm just going to fort brew this. I think I'm the one soaking this one. Yeah, I fort brew it. It's fine. I think it targets, it does the earth shaking stomp. Yeah, after every single time it targets somebody, it does the earth shaking stomp. Um, so that's pretty good. We have two B reses as well if we need it, but it doesn't seem like we're going to need it for a little bit. I think we're absolutely crushing this key. Hateful gaze. I cannot soak it. You can only get one debuff at a time so or one stack of the debuff at a time um so just be careful whoever soaks it just be ready to you know spot heal them before the earth shaking roar and you should be good fell vomit this is you just bring these lines to the outside it, they put a straight line straight across the room um try to just bring it you know to the outside of the map or map the room spell hateful gaze on somebody nice good I'm just gonna def I'm gonna uh, Chiji here so everyone gets a shield so that the the AOE isn't as bad and then we're just gonna yeah keep doing damage the damage here fell fell vomit so again bring that to the you know out outer part of the room just keep the middle of the room clean this guy actually has two of them um, I can I can take this one I can take this one might hurt but oh okay tank took it I don't mind that actually I didn't have a defensive. Um, earth shaking stomp. So again, we're just going to do a little Shadowlands gift here. Worst thing that can happen during that, by the way, is do not have your back towards the, the puddles on the ground because, uh, that is, I'm going to try to bring this all the way over here because you can get knocked into the, into the puddles. Oh, hello. Hopefully someone eats it for me. Good. It looks like the evoker is fantastic. I'm just going to cocoon them. Nice rally. Uh, we're going to use our little. Shaylin's gift here, dispel the affix, and do damage. Um, we're getting kind of close to the end of the boss. I feel like I'm going to save Chigi for like the last part of the dungeon. I think we'll kill this guy in less than a minute. Fell vomit on me. So we're just going to try to bring this to the outside. Nice. I think we do. Earth shaking roar. Shaylin's gift. Boom. Dispel. I'll heal this because I don't think anyone's seen it. Nice. Good dispel there from the evoker. And then we're coming in hot. We're going to staff this. Boom. All right. Big damage here. Good. Good work. All right. So now we are going to continue. And I've seen tanks pull this whole hallway. So, um, I mean, I'm sure we'll play it safe, which is fine. But I have, you know, healed it before. I, I think I did it on 25, which obviously 25 is a little bit different than 27. But, um, yeah, dodge the Raven's Dive. The only thing you need to do in this hallway is to dodge the Raven's Dive. That's it. Um, it's the big, it's the brown swirl on the ground. That's it. Simples here. It, it, is, it is quick. What? 
How did I just get hit by that? Huh? I didn't think it had that far of a range. I, I completely thought I was like, I obviously someone else thought they were fine too. Trying to heal this. Huh. All right. My bad. My bad. 100%. I guess I'll save roll for it. I'm just going to roll. I'm not going to. Nice stun there. <laughs> Jesus. Dodge this. No. No shot. Nice. Continue. Take damage. These these casts are just uh, tank damage, so nope, 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 nope. Especially during Enrage. Nope, 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 nope. No, sir. Dodge. Nope. I'm just going to keep moving. Just keep moving. Dodge. Hopefully we pull this next into the final room, and then we should be able to... We have six minutes. I feel like we should be able to kill the boss in that time, but we'll see. Sweep everything. Mystic touching everything. Dodge that. Nope. I'll heal. Be, care be careful of this carpet, by the way. I've seen time. Nope. 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 I've seen times where the carpet kind of covers up the swirl. So keep that in mind. I'm not even looking at him. I'm just, I'm just paying attention to my feet right now. Cheebers here. It's like we have we have nice nice trash is good trash is good. Nope nope, I'm not falling for it either. I'm not falling for it. Just don't die. That's fine. That's fine. Release. You're good. We got five. I'd say this is like a four minute boss fight. We don't have lust for the first part, but that's okay. Should be able to two phase this. Uh, okay. Seven pulse. Put a little cheap burst in there. I'm just going to meld drink as well. Meld drink. And we should be good. All right. Let's see if we can do this. All right. Whirling Blade. So again, I'm I'm actually just going to stay far away at this first part of the dungeon or the boss because the Whirling, I've, I've had weird interactions with the Whirling Blade, so I'm just not even going to dampen harm this. It runs at me, but I swear sometimes I've gotten hit by it. I, you know what? I could be bad as well. You know what? I'm going to cocoon you. You're fine. I'm going to unuse you. You're good. Okay. Chigi here. All right, let's do a little. Let's crank a little now. Now that that blade's out of the way, let's let's do a little damage here. Whirling blade, dodging this. It's it was on somebody. We have two B reses. Three. We have three B reses. Okay. We have three minutes. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. We'll hit by it again. That's okay. Again, the pff, we, we should be. This is the hardest part of this boss fight. Perfect. All right. All right. We got three and a half minutes. Watch the blades. Watch the blade. Yeah, the blades stay even after this part for a little bit. So we need to just make sure we don't get hit by it. I think the other one already expired. So this one's just, that one's gone. Perfect. We have 30 seconds on hero. So I think we're doing pretty good. The first, the, actually the, the next hardest part of this dungeon, this boss phase is this first shadow, shadow bolt, shadow bolt volley. So I do diffuse magic it. Um, it is just a lot of damage. Um, but now we get a buff for healing, I think. And chi we're going to Chiji here, so everyone gets a huge absorption shield, helps us recover. And we're just going to do damage here. We got a little under two minutes. Everyone still has their shield on them. Yeah, we're looking pretty good right now. Dreadlord's Guile, so we're just going to have to avoid the purple center, stay out of the center. I Actually, it's so hard to tell which way it's going at the start. I don't know why it's like that. I also have Revival still. So if I do need to Revival, we can Revival. Dodge the green... Cloud, I guess that puts you to sleep. I'm pretty sure you'll die because you get put to sleep and then the center kills you. Seeing a swarm, just do damage to whoever has it. That's pretty much it. Um, nice. I'll unuse, I will unuse myself here because I want the extra verse. And I have diffuse magic for the next one. Nice to spell on that one. I actually couldn't get that. I'm so focused on healing right now that, like, 
Um, Diffuse magic. I could actually Chi-Chi here. Huge shield on everybody. Great blur for my demon. Demon hunter. Minute and a half. Big healing. Big healing. Still have revival. Still have revival if we need it. Maybe we bop whoever has that. Dispel. Cocoon. Revival. All right, we press our revival here. 10 seconds on the Guile. I think we still have it, even if he goes to that phase. But uh, it's just gonna be a little bit, just gonna be a little bit more tight, honestly. It's just gonna be a little bit tighter. Okay. Dodge the center. Oh my god, am I? I? I actually can't tell sometimes which way to go. Oh, Mister. All right, we got a minute, and we should be pretty okay. This doesn't last too much longer. Boom, he's at 7%. No mana. I have Chi-Gi. Boom, everyone gets shielded. Kill him. Oh my god. And that is a plus 27 black rook hold. Oh my god. That is the first 27. No, that's the second 27 I've ever tried. But oh my god. That's crazy.